Ukraine will be a member of NATO in the future, Secretary General of NATO Mark Ruta said Thursday in Brussels, where he is chairing a meeting of NATO ministers of defense. At the moment it seems that it will be Ukraine as number 33 but maybe somebody else pops in front of him, Ruta said. But Ukraine will be a member of NATO in the future. That is what we decided in Washington. So, the question is now about the timeline. Currently, NATO has 32 member countries. Its credibility is based on its collective security guarantee, Article 5 of its founding treaty. It's a commitment by all member countries to come to the aid of any member whose sovereignty or territory might be under attack. This does not apply to a partner country like Ukraine. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has partially revealed his five-point plan aimed at prompting Russia to end the war through negotiations. A key element would be a formal invitation into NATO. However, NATO partners have been reluctant to invite Ukraine to join while the war is ongoing, and Zelensky's request for an invitation puts the military alliance in a difficult position. For the long haul, if necessary, we will keep supporting Ukraine. And that is our message to Putin. We are in this, if necessary, uh, for the long haul. Uh, and obviously, we want to be uh, in a place where Zelensky and Ukraine, from a position of strength, is able to start talks with Russia. But till that moment comes, he can count on continuing support. And uh, Putin cannot count on us letting go of that support. We will keep this going. And, and this is what we are all committed about. This was I hear consistently in all my talks um, in, in the Alliance. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, the, um, uh, NATO is also discussing new demands. Yes, in the future, NATO will have as a 32 or 34th member, we will have Ukraine. Uh, at the moment, it's, it seems that it will be Ukraine as number 33, but maybe somebody else pops uh, in front of him. But Ukraine will be a member of NATO in the future. That is what we decided uh, in Washington. So the question is not about the timeline. Secretary General. Uh, Morning. What are the points that you... He has to be absolutely assured that 32 allies are united in making sure that collectively we will do whatever is needed to make sure that Ukraine can prevail that Putin will not get his way. <laughs> President Volodymyr Zelensky presented Ukraine's much-debated victory plan at Parliament on October 16. The proposal is comprised of five points, an invitation to join NATO, a defense aspect, deterrence of Russian aggression, economic growth and cooperation, and post-war security architecture, according to Kiev Independent. If the plan is supported, we can end the war no later than next year, Zelensky said in the parliament in the presence of Commander-in-Chief Oleksandr Sersky, military intelligence chief Kirillo Budinov, and Western diplomats. Ukraine's invitation to join NATO was placed at the top of the list. Kiev submitted its application to join in September 2022 but has yet to receive a clear signal from the Allies. Zelensky said that the step should be taken now, representing a shift from his earlier comments that the move might be delayed until the end of the war. The second article stresses the need to bring the war to Russian territory, such as during the cross-border Kursk incursion launched in early August. This item also calls for lifting restrictions on long-range strikes in Russia, additional supplies of long-range capabilities, and Western support in downing Russian missiles and drones over Ukraine. The third point refers to non-nuclear deterrence and includes a secret part. Ukraine is proposing a comprehensive non-nuclear strategic deterrence package on its territory that would safeguard the country against future aggression. The fourth part addresses Ukraine's use of its natural resources, such as uranium, titanium, and lithium, which present economic growth potential for Kyiv and the EU. Ukraine is offering a special agreement on joint investment and use of these resources with the EU and the US. The part also calls for ramping up international sanctions against Russia to undermine its ability to sustain its aggression. The fifth part relates to Ukraine's post-war security architecture. Kyiv boasts a large and experienced military force that should strengthen NATO and the European continent, Zelensky said. 
Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov slammed Ukrainian President Zelensky's victory plan, calling it ephemeral. He said, instead, that it's a U.S. plan to fight us until the last Ukrainian, which Zelensky has camouflaged and presented as some ephemeral peace plan. Peskov also reiterated that a peace plan for Russia will only work if Ukraine understands the need to sober up. Zelensky was set to at least partially unveil a plan to win against Russia to his country's parliament after weeks of dropping hints about the blueprint to lukewarm Western allies, including U.S. President Joe Biden. Zelensky in the Verkhovna Rada stated that Western partners have practically approached the victory plan. Now, teams are focused on the details of effective support. Ukraine's partners, to whom this plan has already been presented, have approached it practically. They are paying attention. Teams are focused on the details for effective support. The teams have begun working, Zelensky said. He also confirmed that he would present the victory plan at tomorrow's European Council meeting. However, the president emphasized that he first needed to present it to the Verkhovna Rada. But I want to be honest about how certain non-public, diverse format communications with Ukraine accompany the situation. We hear from partners certain words like negotiations and, much less frequently, the word justice. Ukraine is open to diplomacy, but to honest diplomacy, Zelensky added. Notably, the victory plan has been shared with American leaders, including Joe Biden and presidential candidates Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. The document was also presented to leaders in the UK, France, Italy, and Germany. Воевать с нами до последнего украинца, который теперь Зеленский закамуфлировал и назвал мирным планом. Вот, по всей видимости, это так. Какого-то иного там плана нет. Там может быть иной план, который может быть действительно мирным. Это осознание киевским режимом без перспективности той политики, которую они проводят, и, скажем так, понимание необходимости претрезветь, претрезветь и осознать те причины, которые привели к вот этому конфликту вокруг Украины, который сейчас идет.